The final season of Peaky Blinders, which airs every Sunday, continues tonight on BBC One with episode 3, Gold. The latest installment of the Birmingham crime drama follows Tommy Shelby after he travelled to North America in the last episode. The gang leader, who is trying to expand into new territories, is convinced that his family has been cursed. He travels to a gypsy camp in a bid to find out who is responsible and how he can save his family. In Birmingham, Tommy's sister Ada Thorne takes charge and Arthur takes on some new recruits. Arthur heads to Liverpool to deliver a warning, where he is met by Hayden Stagg, played by Stephen Graham. An official picture from the programme shows the Liverpudlian line of duty star's character locked in an intense stare with Arthur. Peaky Blinders creator Stephen Knight, who was born in Birmingham, recently appeared stunned by the true history of Birmingham's legendary crime gang. The writer, who took his inspiration for the programme from extensive research, appeared in a recent documentary about the gang's origins. Immerdale twist as Mackenzie's Boyd planned to destroy the Dingles exposed? Stephen spoke during the first episode of the BBC's two-parter, The Real Peaky Blinders, which aired earlier this week. He said, all of the characters, Darby Sabini, Alfie Solomons, Billy Kimber, came as a consequence of reading research about who was around and just discovering the truth about them, the illegal gambling, the gangsters and all of that, it is so wildly more than you would expect it to be. Because, in the way that the Americans have mythologized their gangsters, the British have never ever even gone there. These people were not mythologized at all. And yet, they were the same people. Peaky Blinders has captured the nation's attention since it first hit our screens in 2013. The BAFTA award-winning show is based on the real-life events of Birmingham's notorious gangsters of the late 19th century. The mobsters emerged from the grim poverty that dominated the Midlands city, which was once described by Charles Dickens as a vision of hell. As depicted by the BBC drama, the gangsters were transformed from members of the slogger gangs into well-dressed, powerful mobsters. Immerdale Fury for Mina Judla as parents arrive in court to give evidence against her? Latest Barbara Dixon infuriated by Elaine Page speculation, absolutely stupid, insight Peter Salas, how last of the summer wine star cheated death, analysis, Stephen learned of the Peaky Blinders from his mother and father's memories of Birmingham and how gangs made money from gambling. The writer opened up about his inspiration for the series in The Real Peaky Blinders. He said, my dad was the main source of stories about the Peaky Blinders. The story my dad told that really made me want to tell this as a drama, is that he was probably 8 years old, and his dad gave him a message and said take these to the Peaky Blinders. He was terrified. He walked in and he said inside there were 8 men, immaculately dressed, a table covered in coins in a place where no one had any money, and he said the men were all drinking beer and whiskey out of jam jars. They wouldn't spend any of that money on something like a glass or a cup, every penny they had was spent on how they looked. It just made me think that in an environment where you have no control, you have no authority, everything is pretty grim, the only thing you can do is make yourself the thing. Peaky Blinders airs on BBC One tonight from 9pm to 10pm.